Good morning. It's Friday, April 22nd. So good to have you checking in on Top Story today. We're here at the Great Homeschool Convention in Cincinnati. If you're nearby, come say hello. Check out the full World Watch show. We're covering more news like a story out of Mexico where lawmakers have just nationalized this element. And Brazil, where a couple of guys couldn't be more excited. They've qualified to go to Austria for the Paper Airplane World Championships. Now, this is Top Story. In Ukraine, Russia claims to have captured the crucial port city of Mariupol, except for fighters holding out in the underground spaces of a giant steel plant. Earlier, Vladimir Putin threatened to annihilate them. Now he's changed tactics. Instead of storming the factory, he's ordered what amounts to a medieval siege. There is no need to climb into these catacombs and crawl underground. Block off this industrial area so that not even a fly can escape. Meanwhile, the world is waiting out the effects of a siege of sanctions, large and small. This one may be small in effect, but it has a large profile. Wimbledon has banned players from Russia and Belarus. That includes some top athletes like Daniil Medvedev. Tournament organizers were concerned that Russian government propaganda might take advantage of a win by the world's number two ranked player. Number one ranked player, however, had harsh words for Wimbledon. I think it is crazy. When politics interferes with sport, it doesn't turn out well. The last time Wimbledon banned athletes was after World War II, when players from Germany and Japan were not allowed to compete. Make sure to check out the full site at worldwatch.news. You can try out the show free for a month. And thanks for watching, everybody. I'm the Big Bash. Remember. Yeah!